Hello everyone, my name is uh, Fluttershine1989, but most of you already know that. I'm filming this video here because a lot of people have uh, wanted to know exactly what went into making these, how it's done, and so on and so forth. And um, to clarify everything, I do not take credit for the menus. The menus were created by Billy Witch Doctor. I downloaded them from a torrent and used them. Yeah, so I don't take credit for that. And another thing is, in my last video, I mentioned that I was going to have a contest giving away some of these DVDs. But unfortunately, due to legal reasons, I will not be able to do that. I'm sorry, everybody, but I don't want to go to jail for piracy. But in any case, I'm going to throw it over to my buddy now, and he'll show you exactly how to make these torrents or uh, discs yourself. So I'm going to show you guys how you can make these DVDs yourselves. It's very simple. The first step is you're going to have to do it all on your own, but that's getting the actual episodes yourself. I can't provide any links. I can't provide any details of where to look. So do the research yourself. It's pretty easy. Just get the episodes for the entire season one. They can be TV rips or if you prefer iTunes rips for better quality and no watermarks and such. Um, whatever you want just go with it and uh, so after you have all the episodes what you want to do is download a program called DVD Styler. Uh, the link will be in the description below or we'll probably throw an annotation on the screen right about now. And then you'll also need to get the, the DVD kit which is going to include the menus and the background music and all that kind of stuff that you use with DVD Styler and well of course you also need five blank DVDs but I think that's pretty obvious and so I guess with all that I'll get on with showing you how it's done so the first thing you want to do is open up DVD Styler might take a minute and the very first part here, it asks you to create a new project. So you put the disc label. Just, I'm just going to leave it as DVD for this because I'm not actually making it. We've already done them. So you can set the video format. Uh, most reps are going to be NTSC. So just leave that selected. Choose your aspect ratio. If you want it widescreen, you go 16 by 9 or 4 by 3 if you just want it full screen and then hit OK and then this will pop up all you gotta do is click no template because we're making our own now I got this black background just double click anywhere on that and this will pop up uh, all the things you need to worry about here are where it says background and then image in here so you click on this and then you find the images that you downloaded from the, the kit The finished menus, you should have a few of them here. So let's, well, let's, I'll do an example on disc one. And then after that, I see video object and audio. So you'll want to click that, the button and load the audio. And then there's a little button here that says loop. You can choose whether or not you want to set that, but I prefer to do it myself because then uh, the audio will loop every time so if you're stuck on the menu for a long time you just hear a song over and over obviously <laughs> then at the bottom here you'll see all these uh, check boxes only check off root and audio and anything else just leave the way it is hit OK now you see here's the main menu minimize the screen a bit so that you can find the episodes themselves Alright, depending on which disc it is, you just look at all the episodes that are listed. So this one has six episodes. So we'll want to select the first six episodes. And drag them down to right here. You'll see drag here your videos from the file browser. So drag them all in. I just, I just want to add something. Yeah. Uh, the first disc has six episodes. I don't recommend putting any more than six on a disc for image quality purposes. Yes, he is correct. Six would be the max. 
the, the menus that are already made, this one only has six episodes, the rest have five. So if you just use the already pre-made menus, then that won't be an issue. So after you got all that, you'll see at the bottom the different titles. This is Title 1, Title 2, Title 3, and so forth. So now you head over to Buttons, and you can choose whatever button you want. Personally, I use this one right here. It's a, kind of an arrow pointing upwards. And you can just put it anywhere you want, but you want to choose them the episode, so you put it there. I figured it's a little too big though, so you want to double click it and set the custom, custom size. I set it to half, so it was 48, so I set it to 24. And then for the colors, you can choose all those. I figured uh, the white background was good, but I wanted to make the outline green. And then you can set it for normal, highlighted, and selected. So I set them all the green as the outline. Then the selected color, I chose the same green. When it's normal, I leave it as white, but when it's highlighted, I changed it to be a light pink. And then at the very top here, you'll see Title 1, Chapter 1. Leave the chapters all the same. And just make sure you choose Title 1, because that's the first episode. Title 1 down here. It corresponds to whatever these say. So then you put the the arrow there or wherever you want it. You can put it on this the other side if you want. It doesn't really matter where. Just as long as you know which episode you're selecting. And then to keep all the properties the same, you'll right click, copy, anywhere else you can right click and paste. And then all the colors and all that will stay the same and the size. And so then you can double click it again on the next episode and change it to say Title 2. Okay paste again title three so on and so forth I won't show you anymore now it's the same thing for all of them so now I got title one title two title three I usually click just to verify that they're all set properly I check them and then once you're all done from here you just go to the top corner where it says file and you click burn DVD. Now this part here do not burn the DVD directly from this program there are known problems when you're burning from this program but what you can do is create the ISO image and so choose where you want to save it to I'll just set it up example the ISO, you're saving ISO, and you click save and then click start. You'll see this window pop up here, it's gonna generate the menus, that only takes a minute. The part that does take the longest though is uh, coming up just in a minute here. It's gonna, you'll see this thing flash quite often and then here transcode and re Multiplex. This is the part that takes the longest because it's going to convert the videos to a DVD format. Uh, depending on the speed of your computer, it could take anywhere from 20 minutes to an hour and a half. On this computer, it takes about an hour. So uh, I'll just pause this right now and uh, carry on in a second when everything's all ready. All right. Now that we're all finished with the rendering of the DVD, you'll want to get another program called DVD Decryptor. That's the one I recommend. It's, sometimes it's hard to find, but pretty much any burning program will work. I'll show you how to do this with DVD Decryptor though. It's fairly simple. First of all, load up the program. Change the mode to ISO Write. Select the file which is pretty easy. Hit open. When, when you're selecting the right speed and DVD decryptor is down here and you should know what, whatever burning program you use hopefully you know how to use it and just set the speed to 2.4 times even if you have 
a disc that's 8 times or 16 times or whatever speed your disc is, the slower you burn it, the longer they will last. I know this from experience, I've been burning for several years. So some of my discs that I've burned at high speed, they don't work anymore unfortunately, but lower speed discs, it, at 2.4 times it'll take about 15 minutes or so to burn. It's worth it rather than spending 3 minutes to burn and have it screw up a year later. So once that once you get to this point, just click the right button and you're good to go. I'm not going to actually burn a DVD in this example because we've already got them done, but this is just a guideline of how to do it. I can write a short description below the video that will show the main steps of what to do. And good luck and enjoy. Yeah, and one more thing that I wanted to clarify since my DVD thing has been uploaded and posted on Equestria Daily, I've been getting a lot of hatred from a bunch of people saying that I do not support the show, this and that. Well, that's where everyone would be wrong, because if Hasbro ever does release an official set, I will buy it. But here's clarification. I do support the show. I have all these toys here. That's about $53 worth of toys hanging up on the wall right there. So yeah, just to clarify, I do support the show, and you can see this. Like I said, there's about $53 that was hanging up on that wall, so I'm pretty sure I'm supporting the show. So, And let's all hope that Hasbro will officially release a box set. It's highly unlikely. We already know this, but we can hope. But until then, I'm going to stick with my homemade box set. And like I stated in my comment on Equestria Daily, because I live in Canada, it's perfectly legal for me to download and use like episodes for my own personal use, but it is illegal for me to upload them, so I will not be uploading the ISOs to the discs. Period. And, and that is the reason we're actually giving this entire demonstration of how to do that yourself, so that we are not legally liable for uploading or distributing anything that is not within the law. Yes. So, thanks everyone for watching, and well, good luck with your adventures and making your DVDs and whatnot.